şunu da yapabilsin, bunu da yapabilsin, şu özelliği olsun, bu özelliği olsun derken uçak bu özelliği için Hello, high frequency antenna press selector is an electronic device connected between and high frequency radio antenna and a radio receiver. Its primary function is to act as a tunable bandpass filter, selectively allowing desired frequency to pass through, while significantly attenuating unwanted out-of-band signals. This means it only passes the desired signal and blocks others. The device presented in this project in this project is basically intended for shortwave listeners who most often use a so-called long wire antenna. This type of antenna generally receives all signals in the high frequency range equally, which leads to many unwanted effects such as interference from strong local stations, image response and intermodulation distortion. The antenna tuner is especially useful in simple do-it-yourself radio receivers where some important elements in the input part of the receiver are omitted for the sake of simplicity. In this case, using such a device drastically increases the quality of reception. Otherwise, I took the project from the QRP GR website where you can find many amateur radio projects and all the credit goes to the authors. The device is very simple to make and consists of several components. First transformer with rectifier that provides DC, provides DC voltage with a value of 10 to 12 volts. J310 MOSFET BB112 varicap diode, 10 kilo ohm potentiometers, and several passive elements, resistors, capacitors, and inductors. A thin circuit is simple and cheap to build, and you do not need any inductors winding skills, as it uses molded chokes. We need to place the molded chokes in relative positions that are perpendicular to each other or far away from each other uh, as so as to avoid unwanted coupling between them. The tuner has only two ranges that cover the entire high frequency band from 1 to 7 MHz and from 7 to 30 MHz. The potentiometer change the voltage uh, applied to the varicap diode and thus the, uh, does its capacitance and in conjunction with the appropriate group of inductance, inductances we obtain the required range. Uh, at the input there is a, another potentiometer with which the R RF gain is regulated. The inductor with a value of 100 nano Henry is hard to find so I made it with four turns of insulated wire on a body with a diameter of 7 mm. The PCB is built into a suitable box that is completely covered with a metal cover which is connected to ground to avoid unwanted external influences. Instead of a transformer transformer and rectifier, re rectifier, we can use a 9 volt battery because the total consumption is extremely low and the battery would allow for several months of interrupted operation. Now let's see how this device works in real conditions. I will use my 10 meter long wire antenna located, located on the roof of my house. 
as a radio receiver I will first use uh, SDR Play software defined radio because it's software which provide us with excellent visual presentation of the functionality on the on this antenna preselector. In fact, this SDR radio also has a built-in preselector circuit for each band, so the true fun efficiency and usability of this device would be best seen in a simple do-it-yourself radio receivers. I connected the long wire antenna to the input of the preselector and I connected the output of the preselector to the SDR play receiver, radio receiver. As I mentioned, I will start by using the SDR Uno software because it is the best way to visually understand the function of this preselector. First reception is on 19 meter broadcast band. Now I will move the frequency knob until I get the strongest and clearest reception. It is immediately clear that the difference before the adjustment and now is huge. After a short, short practice, we can almost instantly set the frequency positive meter to the ideal position in which we will get the best reception with the lowest noise level. We need only two or three seconds. Unless we have a particularly strong shortwave station nearby, the gain potency meter should be should always be in the position for the strongest reception. Now I will try this on other bands too. For example, 22 meters broadcast. Around 25 meters. At 40 meters ham band.
This is receive signal with press selector. And without press selector. This is without press selector. You can see the much bigger noise. Now again with press selector. Que sea un poquito más solidario cada vez. Noise level is much. También contigo. Is much. Is minimal. Muchas iniciativas de grupos, de ONGs, de colectivos, de particulares que quieren el dos en uno para que la la gente que más ayuda necesita pues la reciba. Así es que de todo eso intentamos día a día, semana tras semana. And without press selector. An inexpensive high-frequency antenna press selector significantly enhances reception quality, especially for shortwave listeners using long wire antennas and basic do-it-yourself radio receivers. By effectively filtering out unwanted signals, it allows for a much clearer and stronger listening experience across the entire high-frequency band. In the 1990s, the United States was the like global free trade king. It was like, oh, everyone should all lower.